to another delicious episode of Shelly's Homemade, and today we're going to be making country fried chicken, or chicken fried chicken, or um, country fried chicken steak. However you call uh, whichever way you want to call it, that's what we're making today. So for that, you're going to need some flour to fry you up, fry it up, and of course I have that. I have two eggs, some buttermilk. I have some salt. I, of course, you're going to need the chicken. So I have the thinly sliced chicken breast. I have some Dijon mustard. Some, um, a half a cup of flour. One cup of heavy cream. Two cups of regular milk. I have some onion powder. Some black pepper. Season all and some garlic powder to make this oh and we cannot forget we need a little butter a little butter a little butter does the trick you know you can't have country food without some butter all right guys so i'm gonna go wash off my chicken and when we come back we're gonna go and we're gonna start on we're gonna make our buttermilk mixture for our chicken to soak in then we're gonna season our flour up and then i'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with everything else all right so we're back now we're going to make the mixture for our chicken. I have my chicken breast here. Nice sliced chicken breast that we're going to batter twice and fry up. And it's just in all kinds of different sizes. Then we slice so they're going to cook at different times and everything. So I might be taking some out before I take the other one out. But it's all going to be done. And we're going to go in with some milk. Hot sauce. So that's like a third of a cup. Hot sauce. Eggs. Two eggs. Shelly's house seasoning. Now you know we can't do nothing in this kitchen without some Shelly's house seasoning, guys. Alright. Now we just break those eggs up. Mix everything together in this milk and egg and hot sauce mixture. Just like that. Just get your hand in there. Don't be afraid. Just to mix this up. Alright. So I just love what that's doing. Alright, so we're going to set this to the side. When I come back, we're going to mix that flour up. So you just get a good mixture on the, on the mix. Just mix it through, just like so. You're going to see some of this egg stuff. Make sure you get that in there. Mix those whites in there really good. Because all of this together helps it combined. And you get that and it helps the flour to adhere and it helps with that crispiness of the skin. So I'm just mixing it all in. And when we come back guys, we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to show you how to mix that flour together. Alright, so now it's time to mix up some flour. So I have my garlic powder here. I have my pepper. My salt, my seasonal, some salt, some bacon powder, and some onion powder. Onion powder. So we're gonna start with the onion powder since I already have it in my hand. This is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're going in with about a tablespoon and a half of onion powder. Black pepper, about a tablespoon. A half a tablespoon of black pepper. Seasonal. Tablespoon of seasonal. Salt. Tablespoon and a half of some salt. Salt. 
garlic powder. Here's where it gets fun. Tablespoon and a half of garlic powder. My bacon powder. Half a tablespoon of bacon flour. Now the bacon flour is going to help this crisp up. It's going to give it that crunchy look that y'all guys be looking for. When you get a chicken fried chicken, chicken country fried chicken steak, all that good stuff. Whatever name you want to call it. That's what this is. And I'm going in with my hand. And I'm just mixing this flour up. To get it all mixed through. And you can shake the bag up, but for me, I just want to make sure my flour is completely mixed through. Alright. So now, if you can't see the seasoning, then it ain't it ain't seasoned. Alright, so I have my aluminum pan here, well, my cookie sheet got the aluminum pan lined with some aluminum foil, and I'm going to do now is go in with my chicken, I'm going to put it right in the bag, don't forget to shake off that excess um, buttermilk mixture. Shake off that excess flour. Take it back in the in there. Just like so. Sorry, can't see. Drain off that. Go back into the bag of flour. So you're coating it twice. Take it off. And come lay it right on the cookie sheet. And you're going to flour all of these. So I'm going to show you a few more. Shake off that excess. Flour it up really good. Shake it off. Go back in for a dip. Take it for another spin. Shake it off. We'll come back into your bag of flour. Shake it off. Lay it down on the cookie sheet. One more time. And then after this, I'm going to do the rest off camera, guys. And then when we come back, we're going to fry it up. Shake off that excess. Going into the flour. Looks like so. Shake off that excess flour. Go back into the mixture. Shake it off. Go back into the flour, just like so. Shake off that extra flour. Just lay it down, just like so. So when we come back, all of these will be done and we'll be ready to fry, guys. So this is what it's looking like. I floured it. It's all nice and floured. And then I'm sitting to the side. When we come back, we're going to wait for my oil to heat up. And then we're going to fry off this chicken. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so my grease is nice and hot. I'm going to go in. Get some chicken. I might be able to cook three of these at one time. This pot looks like it'll do it for me. Alright, so I had two cups of oil, vegetable oil in here. I'm letting these fry up. When we come back, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do next. Alright, so it's time to flip these babies. If I can get it. Don't want me to flip it. It's running around. Let's try this one first. Alright, that one let me do it. Maybe I got to grip it from the side, baby. There you go. Come back. I'm gonna show you how to, how to make that gravy. So all the chicken are out the fryer. I'm getting ready to stick these inside the oven. 
And when I come back, we're gonna make that gravy. All right, guys, so I have a little vegetable oil in the bottom of the pan so that my butter doesn't burn too, too quickly, turn brown on me. So we wanna get this butter melted up. The first thing we wanna do. I got my whisk here because we're gonna whisk it together. I whisk it all in here, so I'm just trying to get my butter melted down. Shouldn't take long for the butter to melt. Turn the stove down a little bit. So I'm not moving a little too fast for me. Alright, so this is all melted down. We know I got my flour. We're going to add a little at a time. Just whisk that flour in there. And have a half a cup of all purpose flour. So you want to move this around for at least 30, 30 to 40 seconds because you want to cook that flour taste out. So just keep moving it around. So about 30, 40 seconds now, because we want to cook that flour taste out. Alright, so now we're going to go in with our one cup of heavy cream. Keep moving that whisk. Don't stop moving that whisk. Get it from the sides, move it around. You don't want it to get lumpy at all going to thicken up on you really quickly because that half a cup heavy cream don't play all right now we're going in slowly and I will regular milk Increments of however you say the word, I can't even talk to you. I'm trying to tell you. Keep adding a little more. And just keep whisking so we don't get lumps. And if you don't have a whisk, a spoon, or a fork will work. So I suggest a plastic spoon when you mess up with a non-stick pot. You don't want to scratch your pots up. That's why my whisk is silicone. Now you notice I haven't had any seasoning yet. I want to keep working this. chicken broth. We're going to use some a little chicken bouillon in here just to flavor it out a little bit. So about a take two teaspoons of chicken broth. Some Shelly's house seasoning for your favorite all-purpose seasoning. Now some garlic. And we're going to flavor this thing. Now we're going to whisk it all in here. Keep whisking. It's going to come together. Now, I may need to add a little more milk. It's looking like I'm about to add some more milk. 
keep going. Woo! Now that's not we felt because I just splashed some on the table. And some more milk. So this is another cup and a half of milk. Starting to get there to the consistency that I want. So it took one cup of heavy cream, two cups, three and a half cups of milk. Let's keep whisking. desired thickness. If this is the way you want, then leave it at this point. And I'm going to go in just a little thinner. So I'm going to give it a taste for a seasoning. Plate this up. And we're gonna have a good time. All right, so we're back, and now I'm gonna go in and cut open chicken, country fried chicken, that gravy, delicious, seasoned, well seasoned. Potatoes. Absolutely delicious. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. I'm going to see you next time.